puzzled, it's because I just said goodnight to my dear friend, Joe DiMaggio. <laughs> you remember Joe. We had it real good for a while. I remember when he was sleeping, I used to love to play with his bat. <laughs> he had Louisville Slugger burned on it. Ooh, that must have really hurt. Well, I'm sure you all know all about my affairs now, don't you? You know, with JFK and Bobby and Marlon. Gee, I've had so many affairs. Maybe I should run for president. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe for president. Wouldn't that be a kick? Well, it wouldn't be the first time we've had a couple real boobs in the White House. <laughs> well, I do. I love my country. But do you all know what I love the most? Do you? Do you all know what I love the very, very most? Well, let me go out and find it. <laughs> you're a great thinker. If it's muzzy in the back, it means you're a great lover. But if it's, whoop, sit down. <laughs> but if it's muzzy in the front and the back the way yours is, it means you think you're a great lover. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> 
wonderful daddy. What's your name, darling? Ari. Ari? Yes. Are we ready to go, Ari? No. All right. You would love. All right. Now you watch your step, darling. Do you know? Here you go. Do you, do you know? No, I don't need. To, do you know where you're going? Where did I find you? <laughs> Is this Mrs. Ari down here? Yes. No, they're, they're just looking at each other. Ari, you've got two young ladies. Well. I got them all warmed up for both of you. There you go. Let's hear it for Ari. Ooh, that was that was just exhilarating, Daddy. Wait a minute, Ari. Aristotle. <laughs> I do like those diamonds, Ari. Yes. Well, I didn't want to disappoint you, darling, but Daddy. I'm not really Marilyn Monroe. As a matter of fact, I'm not even a blonde. because, well, I've been doing that commute thing, you know, from Huntington Beach, California. <laughs> wow! I have my choice of rides home. This is good. All right, well, you know, so, <laughs> so this morning I thought, okay, you know, I'm just, I, I don't want to be late. I'm just going to hop right into the diamond lane, you know, the HOV lane, the, the lane for two or more passengers. Yeah, that's the lane for me. I'll get right there to State Line, Nevada, lickety split. I wasn't in that lane for more than a minute and a half. I see disco lights in my rear view mirror. I'm like rocking out in the car. And then I realize, oh my God, this is not the party I intended to be at. So now I'm on this side of the road and the officer swaggers up to my car window. He's like, do you know why I pulled you over? for driving alone in the diamond lane. I said, uh-uh, 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 not so fast there, officer. There are at least a half dozen women in this car. <laughs> right, Cher? Yeah, babe, but I told you not to whip into this lane. Isn't that what I said, Sandra Bernhardt? Honey, I say the faster we get there, the better. I'm squashed. Fran Drusher, your hair is so big and fat. I think I resemble that remark. And remember, the bigger the hair, the smaller the hips look. <laughs> She always says a woman's hair is her crown and glory. <laughs> That's why I just said mine. Ooh. Uh, Dr. Ruth Westheimer here. What time does it go off, Edith? <laughs> I'm Hillary Clinton, and I do not approve this ticket. <laughs> Farted again. <laughs> Ow, Brittany, John Webber's here, please. Can we breathe? <laughs> Roll down a window. It stinks. My eyes are burning. My eyes are burning. Oh, so the officer told us to buckle up, drive safely, get to State Line, Nevada, at the Horizon Casino in the Golden Cabaret Showroom ASAP. And here I am. <laughs> As y'all can see, all the girls made it. Yeah, that's.
that's it, folks. That's the whole show. Wait, okay. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> okay, so everybody made it, you see, actually, except for one gal. Very, very busy, though. Martha Stewart. What? She's got her TV show, her books, her CDs, her magazines, her DVDs. Oh, and she's actually even set, you know, to star in a new movie. Well, it's a remake of an old movie, Jailhouse Rock. And here's a little preview. We cooked, everybody. We cooked. Every inmate in the house in the block. Who's cooking to Martha's jailhouse potluck? The warden threw a party in the county jail. At first I wasn't sure because I thought it would fail. I told him this joint can't be hot cuisine. But I whipped those jailbirds into a perfect sing sing and we cooked. Everybody, we cooked. Every cutie in the whole cell block was cooking to Martha's jailhouse potluck. A fresh coat of paint creates the comforts of home plus a pinch of parsley in the minestrone. Those lesbos agree, I really do entertain, and for the first time ever, nobody caught tomato in books. Everybody cooked. Every inmate in the wholesale block was cooking the Martha's Jailhouse potluck. Number 47 said to number 3, Did Martha make the centerpiece bouquet for me? And then she stomped grapes for this prize shall we? This sure beats the snacks in the commissary. I'm cooked. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm Martha Stewart, and I'm back. <laughs> well, if there is one thing that I have learned from being behind bars at Camp Cupcake. It is that while well, there can be a splash of color in one's life, no matter what, let me just say, my, my hair is the color of buttered toast. My jumpsuit is the color of duck a la orange sauce. And the prison walls are the color of up chuck charcoal brick chuck steak. <laughs> but it's still a color. Well, thank you, everybody, and remember, bye 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 at Kmart. <laughs> should. I should explain to you all exactly what I am doing up here. Okay, so basically, I'm a dancer. Woo! And I do impressions of famous women. So yeah, I make my money jumping around on stage looking very feminine and using other people's voices. Kind of like Millie Vanilli. <laughs> You know, ever since Millie Vanilli got busted, though, for lip-syncing their own songs, they have, they've discovered there are a whole lot of other fakes out there on the music scene. Did you all know Roseanne Barr never sang the national anthem? No. No, no she was lip-syncing to the sound of a pig getting neutered. <laughs> There's even a scandal now about Lady Gaga. Oh yes, all the Gagas and Lady Gaga songs have been lip synced by Joan Rivers. <laughs> Joan Rivers, I think she's the only one who's doing well these days. Did you hear, did you hear she just got picked up again? No, 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 not by the networks, by a bus full of sailors. Look at me, I love semen. <laughs> oh sure, oh sure, so I'm a tramp. So we went out with a bus full of sailors. Can I help it if my boyfriend can't satisfy me? The other night I begged him, begged him to make love to me. You know what he said? I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> I did not have Marilyn Monroe's sex life, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy, <laughs> in case you're getting any ideas about me, Joan Rivers. <gasps> wink, wink, wink. <laughs> Daddy's excited. 
Oh, we do. We have a terrific, terrific, terrific show for you here tonight. Do you people realize who is going to be here? Right here, front and center on the Golden Cabaret Showroom stage here tonight. None other than Cher is here. Give it up for Cher. Yes, yes. Cher is here. Can we talk, though? Can we talk? Cher, she's backstage, she can't hear a thing. But anyway, Cher, this woman, she is so flat-chested. When Cher breastfed her kids, it was evaporated milk. <laughs> but she is here. And also here tonight, also here, let's give it up for Tina Turner. Let's hear it for Tina Turner, yes. <laughs> Tina Turner is here, Daddy. <laughs> and she is hot. Aren't you glad your daddy back there? They're just so cute. <laughs> okay, so anyway, Tina is here. This one, she is hot, daddy. She is so hot, she wears a smoke detector between her thighs. <laughs> Wee! Did you hear that? The alarm just went off. Tina is definitely in the house. Oh. And also here tonight, <gasps> Diana Ross. Let's give it up for Diana Ross. Yes, yes, yes. Diana is in this skinny broad. She is so skinny. She was here last summer. I was here last summer. She was out, out of the pool. She was wearing her little bikini. She looked like a pair of pliers wearing a Band-Aid. <laughs> but she is here. And last but not least, last but not least, the biggest tramp in all of Hollywood. Yes, yes, the biggest tramp. The biggest tramp daddy in the whole industry of entertainment. Who daddy? Who's the biggest tramp? Daddy, he's consulting. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. What? Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan. She's pretty trampy. I must admit, she is a tramp. She's a little young. She, she is in the tramp I'm saying, but definitely a tramp. Did you see the way she used to go to court? There's a little tiny those dresses. I mean, what is she? Think she is a Bond girl? You know, she's like, the name is Bond. Bail Bond. <laughs> But she is a tramp, definitely, definitely. Wrong tramp, though. Anybody else? Who's the tramp? Who's the biggest tramp in Hollywood? You know. Who's the biggest tramp? What? She's looking at her purse. She's like, the answer's going to be there. Paris. Paris, hell, she is. She's pretty trampy. <laughs> Wrong tramp. She's still too young. But definitely a tramp. Remember when Paris was trying to get into Japan? Japan wouldn't let her get into the country. Fortunately, though, for Japan, Japan can get into Paris anytime it wants. <laughs> <laughs> Those poor Japanese, at least they got something to look forward to. <laughs> All right, anybody else? Who's the biggest champ? Anybody? Madonna. <gasps> Who said that? Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. <laughs> Lady Gaga has not grown up. She's still saying Gaga. <laughs> she wishes she was a term. Who said Madonna? <gasps> you win! You are, you are a winner. Yes, here you go. There's your winning. <laughs> we don't get good, very good prizes here at the Horizon. <laughs> you are definitely the winner, Madonna. Yes, yes, Madonna is the biggest tramp of all time. When Madonna sang like a virgin, she had to do research. <laughs> She's a tramp, and the boobies are boobies are boobies are boobies. Have you checked out Madonna's boobie? Boobie, boobies. <laughs> Looks like she had them done in Cape Canaveral, no? <laughs> yes, it's a thrill every minute. It's just good to see Madonna is out without her kid. And I don't mean Lourdes, I mean a boyfriend. <laughs> Here she is, the material mom who wears as little material as possible. Put your hands together, Madonna, yes! <laughs>
in the mud face down. <laughs> Justify my cones, my pointing, my rotting. For you to justify my cones. Yeah. Oh. I want to trick you. Yeah. I don't want you to be my brother. I don't want you to be my bisexual lover either. I just want you to be my. Cushion. I want to puncture in your lungs. Do you get the point? Yeah. 